the rear wheels lock up during hard braking. Technician A says a defective pressure differential valve could be the cause. Technician B says a defective proportioning valve could be the cause. Who is right? B only, a defective proportioning valve will cause rear wheel lockup during hard braking. Technician A is wrong because the pressure differential valve will not cause a lockup, it turns on the brake light when there is a difference in pressure. The rear brakes lock up during a regular brake application. Technician A says a defective pressure differential valve could be the cause. Technician B says the metering valve could be the cause. Who is right? Neither A nor B both technicians are wrong. The pressure differential valve will not cause a lockup, it turns on the brake light when there is a difference in pressure. The metering valve if defective will cause a front brake lockup. Which form of brake bleeding uses a continuous supply of brake fluid? Pressure Pressure bleeding uses equipment that provides a continuous supply of brake fluid under pressure to the master cylinder reservoir. It may also include small diameter hoses that attach to the bleeder screws to recover all of old brake fluid. Since this method takes a bit of work to connect the equipment to the vehicle, it is best used when the hydraulic system needs a full flush. A is wrong because manual bleeding requires another technician to operate the brake pedal while the main tech opens and closes the bleeder screws to allow the air out of the hydraulic system. However, you must stop to add fluid to the master cylinder where you do not with a pressure bleeder. B and D are wrong because you must also stop to add fluid to the master cylinder. The primary brake circuit fails due to an external leak at the rear section of dual master cylinder. Technician A says you will notice a spongy lower than normal brake pedal in reduced braking power. Technician B says the brake pedal will grab higher than normal. Who is right? of only, brake fluid leaks cause air in the system, which lowers the brake pedal, making it spongy with reduced braking power. Technician B is wrong because air in the system will not cause any early brake engagement or grabbing higher than normal.
The brakes are being bled on an older vehicle equipped with a quick take-up valve in the master cylinder. Technician A says the quick take-up valve must be depressed during brake bleeding. Technician B says the brakes on this vehicle cannot be bled. Who is right? Neither A nor B both technicians are wrong. The brakes on quick take-up systems use the same bleeding procedure as those without this valve. There are no differences. After the replacement of a master cylinder the brakes drag. Technician A says the compensation ports may be blocked. Technician B says excessive pedal free play could be the cause. Who is right? Of only. Technician A is right because blockage of the compensation ports will not allow the fluid to return to the master cylinder reservoir and thereby cause the brakes to remain applied in drag. Excessive free travel caused brake lag not drag. What type of material is used to repair brake lines? Double walled steel tubing. Only double walled steel tubing can be used for brake line repair. All others are unacceptable. The master cylinder fluid level is low on a vehicle. Technician A says the cause could be a brake additive adjustment. Technician B says that one of the brake systems has failed. Who is right? Both A and B. Both technicians are correct. Tech A is right because if the brakes are adjusted to allow too much clearance between the lining and the drum, the brake shoes will have to travel further to contact the brake drum resulting in more fluid going to the wheel cylinder to compensate for the travel distance. Tech B is right because when one brake system fails the other system provides fluid for the remaining brakes resulting in a lower fluid level in that chamber with no fluid in the failed chamber. Technician A says brake hoses should rarely go bad and do not require frequent inspection. Technician B says hose swelling is normal and does not require service. Who is right?
Neither A nor B both technicians are wrong. Brake hoses do fail after time and hose swelling is not normal and does require service. What is the purpose of the colored stripe on the brake hose outer casing? To keep from twisting hose, the colored strip is there to help keep the hose straight, as it should not be twisted. Two technicians are describing master cylinder characteristics. Technician A says it is not normal to see fluid movement in the reservoir when the brake pedal is depressed. Technician B says a defective master cylinder can cause the brake pedal to slowly sink to the floor when depressed. Who is right? B only. A defective master cylinder can cause the brake pedal to slowly sink to the floor when depressed. If fluid is leaking internally past the seals, technician A is wrong because it is normal to see fluid movement in the reservoir when the brake pedal is depressed. A master cylinder has been replaced, in an overall bleeding sequence, which part should be bled first? Master cylinder, the master cylinder is always bled first and then the wheels in order from the one farthest from the master cylinder. Technician A says the red brake warning light can be turned on if a difference in pressure is detected by the proportioning valve. Technician B says the red brake warning light can be turned on if the brake fluid level sensor detected low brake fluid level. Who is right? B only, the brake fluid level sensor is part of the red brake warning light circuit. Technician A is wrong because a defective proportioning valve will not turn on the red brake light.
Technician A says a pull to the right during braking could be caused by a defective proportioning valve. Technician B says a pull to the left could be caused by a seized caliper slider on the right side. Who is right? B only. If the right side caliper is not functioning properly because the slider is seized and the left side is working as designed, the brake application will cause the vehicle to pull to the left because only the left side is working. A defective proportioning valve does not cause a pull but can cause rear brake lockup.